Okay, this is going to be a quick tech tip. I'm doing this in GIMP, uh, but most photo editing software will have a feature like this. It's called Auto Levels, and I bring it up because quite often on sites like Facebook, people will scan in old photos from when they were kids uh, and and upload them, and they all look kind of faded like these. Now, these are all photos I got off. I just Googled something like Home Photos 70s and did an image search on that and just grabbed random images here. And, and it bothers me because these can look a lot better with minimal work. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. I may have already done a video on this a while ago, um, but it's a pet peeve of mine because anybody can do this. And obviously you can get a lot more in depth with editing your photos, but this is, is very simple here. So here, here's a sample photo. And you can see it's kind of old and faded. Go up to Colors, Levels. Now watch the image, Auto Levels. Look at that. So before, after before, after. Looks a lot better if you ask me. Let's go ahead and then you can obviously save that out. Let's do the next one here and go auto levels and it looks better. You know, obviously there's more work that can be done to it, but auto levels works great and you can manually do the, uh, uh, the levels too, uh, which takes a little more time, but you can tweak it a little bit better. But I'm just talking about for people who aren't photographers, don't do image manipulation much. I mean, GIMP, Anybody can get on any operating system, uh, desktop, you know, and uh, it's free. And look at look how much better. Again, before, after. I'll go ahead and close that. Here's one again. Uh, so again, it's it's colors levels. If it's the last thing you did, you can just click the image and it brings up the last tool that you used in GIMP. So there we go. There's the original image. Auto. Again, not perfect but a lot better. And again, and then after that you can go into curves and you can, you know, edit the curves a little bit just by tweaking these a little bit. So again, before and after a lot better. So I'm just going to close that out. And again, I'm just showing you the same thing over and over again. Levels, auto. See the difference between before and after? Just by clicking that one auto levels button. Now, it doesn't always work great, as I'll show you in a minute with a couple of examples, auto levels. I'm just showing you a bunch of examples of where it does work. Right? So it's looking good. Now, if the picture is so faded that there's no color left in it, it makes it look better, but it's still not going to be perfect. So here's an example. This picture is very faded, barely any color in it. Definitely, I think, looks better with auto levels. And definitely could be tweaked a bit more, a lot more manually, but I still think the after looks better. It has a little bluish tinge, so you could go into color balance and balance that out, but again, I think it looks better than the yellowish orange gray that you get, or uh, shade that you get uh, with a lot of old photos. Another one, uh, the colors are very faded on. Let's go levels, auto levels. Not, not a whole lot of change. Uh, but it definitely, I think it is an improvement. And again, you can tweak things beyond that. And now this doesn't just go for older faded photos. I do this on a lot of my newer photos. With new cameras, if you have good lighting, you're going to click auto levels, you're barely going to see a difference. But if the lighting isn't very good where you take the picture, it can make a, a difference. So I suggest doing this on, on all your photos, just going and clicking, if, if, you know, unless you're you know, a real photographer and you're going to get in there and actually adjust the levels yourself, you know, color by color, you know, whatever. So, um, you could do that, but I mean, if you're just the average person out there, auto levels is a great thing to, to just do to all your photos, and most of the time, very rarely does it make it look bad. Uh, if there is a lot of one color in an image, uh, I find that, you know, it just it doesn't look better necessarily. But in most pictures, it looks better. Uh, like I said, newer cameras, if you have good lighting, you'll barely see a difference because your levels are already really good. But if the lighting was bad or your camera wasn't that great, auto levels can make things look better. So that's just a quick tech tip for anybody because everybody takes photos. And especially if you have old, old, old home uh, photos like this, uh, the ones I showed in the example today that I just got through a Google search, they can make... Uh, they can look a lot better. So just go ahead, do that, you know, again, uh, colors, levels, auto levels, and then export that image uh, before you upload it. And that's it. I hope you found this useful, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.